away. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Moves it quickly over to Lekanen. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Winnipeg's got possession here in their own end. Quick pass to DeMello. Connor's got the puck. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Back to the blue line. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. Gotta love offense, James, and the ability to score goals. And this one just goes right off the pipe. That's frustrating. Back at the point, they set it up. And that carries off a body in traffic. Stop by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Now over to Ehlers. And a smart hits up play to put that away by McCarr. And he hangs on to the puck. Now he takes it over the line. And he takes the feed. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Colton's got control of the puck in the corner. Scooped up along the wall by Monaghan. Nice zone entry from the right side. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes the feed. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Georgiev. And now he tries to get it across to O'Connor. And it's a quick pass to Manson. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Fires it. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Georgiev. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Grabbed along the boards by Manson. Look out! What a hit! You gotta keep your head up out there. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Colorado's going to start with the puck in their own end. Good use of the body on the play. And he loses control here. And the puck leaves the zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Change up, change the Jets up. have it behind the net. And he keeps that one out. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. The Jets will start off on the attack after winning the draw. getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. The Jets, he might have a step here. He's in. Oh, on the breakaway. Takes that pass back to the club. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Colorado's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Byron. Slides the puck across to Nemestikov. The Avs have it against the wall. And now he angles it across to Gerard. Takes it into the slot. And that's intercepted by Sandberg. And a successful clearing attempt. 
Byron's taking it from his own end. Takes the feed from the left side. Reaches out and uses the stick. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back even straight. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. because he's got such great strength and balance, guys. We call that his unstoppable force zone ability, and it's what really helps him maintain possession for his team. Ehlers moves it into the attacking end. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Feeds it down low. Picked up along the boards by Gerard. Slip feed. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Ehlers takes it behind the net. From the left side, takes the pass. Make a change. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Coming to the slot. Great coach by Lekanen. Now a quick pass to Rantanen. Big time stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We've still got zeros on the board. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it on net. Oh, and it comes up with a big stop there. And he slides it quickly to Kibaranta. Break away. Oh, and I think he got confused what he was going to do there. You can see him looking at the goaltender, whether he's going to shoot or deke, and while he's thinking, he's running out of real estate. Made the stop on the play. Taken along the wall by McCall. Fires it into the offensive zone. Bumps off the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. Villardi's got the puck in his own zone. Gain momentum up along the side. That's intercepted. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. Tries to get it to Coglio. From the point, they take control of it. That makes the save. Takes the pass. And he takes the pass. With possession along the wall. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. There's another consecutive save. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Knocked away with the stick by McCall. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Avs get a hold of it. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Feeds it over on the rush. And that goes off a body. The Jets take possession in the neutral zone. Niederreiter's going to play it against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Parisi. And he slides it quickly to Johansson. He got all that one. Truex got it in the offensive zone. Takes a shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Slides the puck to Appleton. Shot kicked away. Nice bad save by the goaltender. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here comes the call. The natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play opportunity of the game. And also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Colorado's got to hold of it against the wall. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Jets going to work on offense. And now he moves it quickly to Perfetti. Puts it on net. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes the feed up ahead. Fast 
and quick lead pass. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Avs will kill off a few extra seconds now. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Moves it to Shifley. The Jets cross the line and gain the zone. Too much congestion in front. McKinnon's back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference, and you don't. It's frustrating, and it's a real momentum killer. The Avs have it now. Pass to Wood. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Poked away at center by Taves. Tries to feed it over to Colton. Knocked out the puck. Rocks it on the play. The Avs gain control of the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone by Nemestikov. Center in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. and balance is his unstoppable force zone ability and it's what makes his possession game so strong. Hellebuck's a great goalie who can steal a game for his club. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Puck picked up by Barron. Dumps it in. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Colorado's got it from behind the net. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Byram. And they keep the pressure on. Now a quick pass to Lekanen. The Jets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. The Avs look to start the transition game. Here's a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. In the final moments of this period, the game is still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Appleton. Morrissey's got control of it now behind the cage. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Quick feed to Cogliano. Wagner's been brought down and we're gonna get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that, but they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Colorado's won the draw. Winnipeg's got the puck shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Here's the puck. Branton and got it against the boards. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. And they get the puck out of harm's way. And he slides it quickly to Drouet. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. People excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our breath. Back with more in a moment. Now's your chance to play clean. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans, for joining us. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Strong on the puck. The Jets gain possession. Gets a pat on it 
What a stop by Georgiev. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Winnipeg's got possession at center. Quick pass to Connor. Stones him with the blocker. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And now he moves it quickly to McCarr. Oh, what a save in front. Halifax is able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Jets play along the wing. Just saved by Georgiev. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Johansson's won a big draw in their own end. And he passes it up ahead to Drouin. Great use of the twig as he puts that one away. What a play defensively to block that. Here's a short pass to Niederreiter. What a stop! Taken by Johansson. And that pass goes off a stick. Moves it over to Appleton. Moves it to Niederreiter. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you gotta find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Gerard's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and you lost possession. Oh, to get the goaltender out of position and then slide it in right by the post. Winnipeg's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Loses his balance on the play. The Avs pick up steam and are on the attack. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Blocked in front. Hellebuck's been outstanding tonight. I mean, he has been under siege. Shot after shot. A real workhorse that's been better and better as the game has gone on. Sings it over to McKinnon. Cutting to the front of the net. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And it's a quick pass to Ehlers. They go on the attack from the left side. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Hammers a shot. Oh, what a close save by Georgiev. Quick feed to Rantanen. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Perfetti's moving the puck through his own zone. And they cough it up at center. Bad save by Hellebuck. Angles it over to Pionk. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Handles the pass at center. Drills them. From the neutral zone now. The Jets carry it along the wall. And that's blocked away. Now a quick pass to Colton. Quick shot. And he comes up with a stop there. Moves it quickly over to Connor. Right. Oh, goes right off the post. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. The power play unit goes right back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Colorado's got it in their own zone. 
And they manage to clear it. Looking to break out here on the power play. Denies them in close. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Makes the save with the trapper. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Wagner's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Colorado's got it in the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. All alone! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Stuck into the trapper by Georgiev. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Nemestikov's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Jets win that offensive zone faceoff. One of the toughest things to do is get in and get entry. And when you already have a face-off in the offensive zone, you got to find a way to execute on the power play. You know, it's one of the most difficult things to do, but when you win possession, you can get the setup. You can get the look that you want, and that's what happened here. The Jets have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. Tosses it to Ehlers. Tried to get Q with it and loses possession. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. And he makes the save. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Picked off by O'Connor. Colorado's got it across the line. Here's a chance. Too much traffic in the lane. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. Moves into the slot. Denies him. Georgiev's been under siege all game long. I mean, his defense is doing nothing to protect him, but one save after another. They're lucky that they're still in this game. They've got to get going north and look to put some numbers up on the other side of the board. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Morrissey. They fight for it along the boards. The Jets have it against the wall. Passes the puck over to DeMello. Handles the pass. The Jets will play it in their own end. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Fantastic save! Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. Through center along the wing. Rocked on the play. Takes the feed. And a stiff break set up. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Slides it across to Niederreiter. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Colorado's got it into the offensive zone. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. And a solid stop on the play there. Colorado's effort at some point has to pay off. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but they still trail in this one. Off the face off, they take the puck. And he keeps possession. Inside the offensive end now down the left. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Winnipeg's looking to break out of their own end. Puck scooped up by Monaghan. Feeds it on over to Iofalo. And the save. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Tip shot. What a blocker stop at point blank range by Georgiev. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. And that's 
broken up in the defensive zone by Johnson. And he makes that save as well. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of him. Getting into the later stages of this period, Winnipeg's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. The Avs move it in. Center and feed. Great defensive hits on the play to pick it off. Takes the shot. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Hellebuck. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. The Avs have had no shortage of opportunities tonight, but at some point, they need to start finishing here late in period number two. Jocelyn for the puck, and it's knocked away. Across the line, down the left wall. Glove save, and an easy one at that. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Winnipeg's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The Jets have it in the offensive zone. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Colorado's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Manson. And he slides it quickly to Rantanen. Gets the puck over to Girard. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And that's blocked in traffic. Moves it to Rantanen. Easily turned away by the goaltender with the glove. Slides it diagonally to Velarde. Excellent stick work on the play. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Great save from in tight. I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Winnipeg's got a 2-0 lead. The Avs win the draw. Pass in front, and that chance is blocked. Quick feed to Barrett. The Jets are across the line and into the offensive end. Battle along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Pionk. Moves it quickly over to Perfetti. The Avs have it now. Handles the puck. That's blocked. Huge steal at his own end. The Jets are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. here for the start of the third. Well, here we go. The puck is shocked on period number three. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Colorado's dug themselves a hole from two periods of play, James, simply because they haven't managed the puck. They forced plays, which has created turnovers, and they haven't been able to generate any offense at all. Takes a shot. Score! Oh! Position to bury the rebound. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Colorado's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the middle zone. Makes it look easy with the stop. Receives the pass. Oh, look at this chance. No room for that one to get through. The Avs played along the boards. The Jets have it now. And he slides it quickly to McCarr. Turns it away. Hellebuck's got it. And I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. And off the draw, they take possession. There he is from the slot. 
And that shot dies in traffic. This one scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Takes the feet in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The centermen glide into position. Winnipeg's got it, and they're on the attack. Here he is, shot in front. Denies that opportunity. Big save by the goaltender once again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Intercepted the pass. Hellebuck's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Colton's won the draw, and they're on the attack. And that was stopped. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Right now, he is 
so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves it to Morrissey. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Johnson's lugging the puck. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Jets gain control of the puck. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Both teams back to even strength as the power play expires, and we are still tied here. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer, but finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. Quick feed to O'Connor. Big save in front. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. The ads are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. stoppage in play. Who had the better night? Carlin, stand by. McKinnon's been excited again tonight, guys. He gets in on the box score, and you can bet he'll feel satisfied with his contributions. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. He's got a step! With the stop! Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. And they send it down the ice. Can we that? And we'll play on as it goes off the outside of the post. The Avs bring another one off the post. So frustrating, James, in a tie game where they have the opportunity to go ahead. Listen, the goaltender's going to tell you they're in good position. They're forcing that wide shot. And it's a quick pass to Perfetti. What a steal in his own end. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Perfetti's got it along the wing. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Georgiev's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in, and that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. His reflexes on display tonight. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Made the stop on the play. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. A chance from the slot. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Handles it along the blue line. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much-needed stoppage. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Lowry's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, talk about finishing your check. Wow. Passes it to DeMello. Sets the pass in front. Off here inside the offensive end. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's blocked. Georgiev's got the puck and he's going to hang on. A critical draw here. Lowry's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Oh, stick save and a butte. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Pick is off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. 
When you hear the ping, you certainly know that you've beaten the goaltender clean, and this is what happens here, but it doesn't come out. It goes in the net. Winnipeg's been locked up in a dogfight all evening long, but look at this. They pushed through and found that go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, I think they continue the scrappy dogfight. Don't get in the mindset to sit back. If you sit back and you allow entry into your zone, guess what? You're playing defense. Get on the hunt. Get on the prowl. Stay on the puck, and you'll win this game. Pushes it across to Shifley. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Poked away at center ice. Keep a hold of it. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. They fight for it along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Villardi. Gets in front of it. Now a quick pass to McCarr. Here they come on the rush. DeMello's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. The Jets once again send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Quick pass to Niederreiter. Slides it quickly to Pionk. Can't get it to go. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Here's a short pass. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Tries to get it out. And they're able to get it out and finally get a breather. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, and they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this is, again, a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up, to work their magic around the perimeter, and then open up the lanes to attack the net. In the final moments of this period, the Jets now lead by two. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. The Jets going to work on offense. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Ehlers. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Winnipeg's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Colton's won it in their own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Under a minute to go in the third. Still has possession. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attacker's out. They need a goal here big time. The Avs have it against the wall. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. The Avs gain control of it. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. that's taken in stride, and it winds up filling the back of the net. Winnipeg's had a lot of success tonight, other scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Well, this team clearly has their eyes on the prize after now taking a second straight win to go up 2 zip. Yeah, and you know what the talk in the room will be about. It'll be about staying present and in the moment. That is one game at a time, because in order to have killer instinct, you gotta find a way to take care of business today, not yesterday, today.
This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape, and here's a reason why. Look at this celebration here, Cheryl. And you got to love this. I mean, the fans are there for you while you're playing the game, and you come back out to say thank you to them. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far, and we will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.